Okay, so in this podcast, we're going to look at how to add chapters to your ScreenFlow document. Now, this is really useful because um, if it's a long ScreenFlow document, it will allow your viewers to jump to a particular point of the podcast, but they can only do this if they're viewing it in QuickTime Play. So if you add chapters, they won't translate to YouTube, for example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my playhead um, just over the area where I want to set my first chapter, which is just when I open up Tweety. So with my playhead there, I'm going to go to the Edit menu, and we're going to go down to Markers and choose Add. Now you can see a little pop-up box um, has opened here, so I'm going to put um, one Tweety, and they'll actually see the title of this chapter. So put in something that's descriptive and tells the viewer what it is. Then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to play along to my next chapter point, which is iTunes. And again, I'm going to go Edit, Markers, and Add. I'll call this Chapter 2, opening iTunes, and I'll click OK. And finally, I'll add a third one, which is Google Chrome. So edit, markers, add, three, I Google outline. And I'm going to click OK. Now, you can double click on any of these markers to change the name. So you could always go back and change that to closing iTunes or whatever's needed. OK, so with our markers in place, what we can now do is go to the file menu and choose export and you can see here under options we can add chapters add chapter track from markers so I'm going to select that and I'm going to choose to export it to my desktop okay so our ScreenFlow has finished exporting to the desktop so now when I open it it will open in QuickTime Player X by default in um, Snow Leopard. And if you go to the View menu and choose Show Chapters, you can see that our chapters are there. So I can go straight to Opening iTunes, and then it will appear at that chapter. I can also click on my little Show Chapter icon in the Play Bar and jump straight to my Google chapter. So that's why chapters are a really good idea because if you're especially if you're covering a lot of stuff you can jump straight straight to the part that you need. So that was chapters in ScreenFlow. Hope it was helpful.